What's going on guys? 2015 F-150. Um, just doing a little overview of my little modification I did to my chin splitter um, or wind deflector, whatever you want to call it. Um, overall I took about an inch and a half off of it and uh, I think it looks a lot better. I tried taking it off and um, just didn't look right. You know, if the front bumper was uh, another couple inches bigger, I think I could have left it off. Uh, doesn't do much for um, MPGs unless you do nothing but highway. Um, but, you know, every little bit counts. And uh, like I said, I just didn't really care for the look. Um, you know, a lot of people are cutting off the tabs that um, are left after you remove it but that still leaves all these little bolt holes underneath that connects it. So it just uh, didn't look right to me, so I decided to modify it. Um, so what I did is I took an angle grinder. I had a, used a permanent marker and just ran with this line right here. Just ran that straight across. And then I took an angle grinder, cut it in half, and then uh, what I did is I used a uh, rivet tool to put rivets in um, to hold it together. Um, and I had some instant epoxy that I laid across the seam where the two pieces of plastic met uh, just to help hold it together. And then I painted it. So if you guys can tell, I don't know if you can or can't tell the difference, but I can. Uh, looks pretty good now. Looks kind of, you know, more sporty. Um, you don't have to do what I did. I just think it turned out pretty good with the rivets. Um, and it, it doesn't stand out now. You know, I can stand back here and look at it, and it looks uh, pretty good to me. So I thought I'd share what I did because I know a lot of people are just removing it, but, you know, it is possible to modify it a little bit if you wanted to. Thanks.